I guess today I'm gonna have to fix the toilet. Watch now on the Masterful Master of None as we replace the guts on this bad boy. Watch now. So the toilet is pretty simple. You're gonna have a water supply line, which I am currently, right now, going to turn off. Lefty, righty tidy, lefty loosey. So, I've said before, this house is actually pretty well done, so I've gotten to where I've replaced guts in the toilet before, and oh man, the valve is already your first problem. Um, I just turned that off. I should be able to. The problem was is that I heard it running last night, and the only real issue is is that the chain came off of the flap system and kind of disintegrated like the connection for this thing. So this is the actual flap that goes into the valve there. So I'm just going to replace the guts on it. And it's got a simple um, flotation system on it. It's not going to take too much. And maybe once I get to repairing all of this stuff, I'll do a more of an on top video of this. I'm just kind of talking into it now. So I flushed the toilet and then that's going to stop so I can actually get in here and take all this stuff out. So I'm gonna to go to the hardware store right now, get a new flush valve. I'm gonna just replace the whole thing. They're normally around 20 bucks. I'm gonna keep, you know, the handle and things like that and just replace what's inside there. Cause I don't think this is, for some reason this isn't sticking onto the flap and it's not worth it. All right, I'm gonna to go to the hardware store. Okay, I'm on my way to the hardware store. I just wanted to make something really quick. I swear, I'm not breaking things just to make uh, YouTube content. Seriously, like we walked in, but they're, they're, sm they're little small minor things and I wanna make sure I just take care of it. I could contact the property management company, but to be honest with you, they're gonna send somebody out. It's gonna take a couple of days or even one day. Do you know how many times an 11 and a 14 year old flush a toilet? Um, it's just easier to go and do this thing. If I know how to do it, and it's not gonna really screw anything up, if there's something big in this house, absolutely, I don't wanna deal with it. But replacing toilet guts, it's gonna be easier. And uh, like I said, I'm not breaking these things just to have some content, but it is kind of fun. You can see like different things to do. So just wanted to say that really quick. <laughs> okay, see, I have options here. Universal, fill valve, fill valve, fill valve and flapper kit. So that's probably the one we're gonna get. Then we're gonna get the large, they have the option for the large three flapper kit, but we don't need that. And then another one, the fill valve and flapper kit. So if you see there, $18.99, $15.99. And I'm gonna look at the two differences, but also make sure you take a picture of what you need. Okay, it's between one of these two. The one on the left is $15.99, and the one on the right is $18.99. I think the only difference I notice here is that. And that is the actual valve that supplies the water through. So I'm just gonna get that one. It's an extra three bucks. I'll make sure I get it. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't fall off of the thing. So yeah, that should be good. This one's the winner. All right, you guys. This, I went to the store, obviously, and grabbed a new system. So, the main thing I need to do is take off the old flapper here. I'm gonna have to take this off. Now, this is the supply line to the flush. You need to it give the one kit that I got gives you one. So, I'm just gonna take that out and use this existing one here. 
Now it has here, there is a threaded piece. Hopefully, water is turned off. Yeah, we're good there. Okay, so the water supply line. Probably gonna go need. Um, I'm gonna go grab something to kind of take that bottom piece off. So hold on just a second. Gary never likes to drink from a regular thing. He always has to drink out of the sink. I guess that's the problem when you have 125 pounds. Okay, what I'm trying to take off here, so I'm trying to get this in the shot, is. Right over here, the old existing one, there is the toilet. This goes into the toilet and there is a little nut right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to take that off from underneath and I'm just using something that I can adjust just to grab a little bit of grip because my fingers were, they weren't tight enough. It, or I was trying to use like something like a towel or anything. So this will should make minor adjustments to just literally spin it off. I'm just trying to get it started. So. That's all we're taking off there. <clears throat> Gotta get down underneath here so I can see it. Yep, that loosened it. So I'm literally spinning this off and it is one piece. And then that valve goes into your water supply line that you have to the to the wall there. I'm gonna push that up. See, a little plastic nut here. That's all that was on there. And this, boom, takes off. I'm having to see if I'm trying to catch everything in the shot there. Um, that just comes off like that. And now this old flush valve is done here. I'll take this new one. And we're literally gonna put it right into the old existing hole. Now it has a rubber gasket on it, so that's what will stop the water from going. And I'm gonna aim it a little bit towards your water fill line. Literally putting it back on. I'm going to tighten it with my hands, and that should be enough. Shouldn't have to have, shouldn't have a leak. New supply line. I'm just gonna have to put that in there like that because it's a tad bit bigger than the old one. there um, that's gonna be turning off and that's gonna be flow because you can see that little handle means flowing too so that's gonna go down to this water fill line and fill it up now I'm attaching the old existing supply line onto the bottom of this corky I'm telling you we are 90% done already There's that. Here is the new flap. This is literally gonna go over the existing one and then it attaches to to the little there. And then we wanna put the new chain. We wanna leave it to where there's a little bit of slack. So, kind of 
going to use the hook. Okay, has a little bit of play here. Maybe a little bit more. first, see if there's any leaks. Now that is filling the water back up. I'm filling underneath the toilet. I don't feel any water coming out of that hole. So that's good there. I don't feel any anything dripping on any of those connections. So we're good there. Now this should automatically fill to a certain line. And it stops. That's how easy replacing a toilet flusher is. Now, we're going to do a test run here with the with a I feel like that flapper. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It closes back up, it gives enough time to get that water to go down and flush whatever needs to be flushed down here because you don't want it to go up and then back down because that's not gonna give it enough time to flush it all out. And it sat there for a second and slowly went down with the water and then the water vacuum pulls and closes the flap. I'm gonna make sure that this is going. We just saved ourselves a lot of time. Now, if you own your home and you have to replace that yourself, you just saved a lot of money. This cost me, I think a total of $20. This video wasn't that long. It took me maybe 20 minutes to do the whole replacement. You can do it yourself. Now, like I said before, this is a rental, but I saved time of, I don't want to have to wait for a plumber to come over and do this. Cause it could have been like, oh, well we called somebody in and they'll, they'll be in there a day or two or whatever. And then the kids don't have a toilet to flush. So I'm pretty happy with that. I have no idea if I'm in the shop when I'm doing any of this stuff, but you can at least hear my voice. I can remove the do not use sign. Let's try it one more time.